You control the chess card by pressing each button to select your desired settings, and start and stop your games. Power on your wreck by holding the blue button down. You can check your battery charge level by holding the red button for 3 seconds. Red is low, yellow is mid-range, and green means high charge. Now that we're powered on, you will go from left to right on the menu to choose your settings. The blue button is your game mode. This cycles the blue LED on your menu and corresponds to the series of blue icons representing the game you want to play. The first five games require an opponent to sync up and play, while the last five games are for solo training and only require one unit. The red button is your health. This cycles the red LED on your menu and corresponds to the red kilogram scale representing your weight. The higher you set, the harder it gets. These are only recommendations though. If you are a beginner, you might start out below your recommended setting, while if you're a seasoned veteran, you may want to go above. On two-player games, it's important to note that the health you are setting is for your own chess guard, not your opponent's. Using different health settings for each player can help you create intentional mismatches in training scenarios, but most of the time you will want your health settings to match for a fair fight. The yellow button is your timer. This cycles the yellow LED on your menu and corresponds to the yellow second scale. This sets how long you want your game to last, assuming you don't win or lose before the timer runs out, depending on the game. It's important to note that if you are on a two-player game and you and your partner's timer settings don't match, the game will use the lower of the two settings chosen. And the last one is your green play button. This simply starts, pauses, and resumes the game. In two-player games, you will have to double-click the play button to pause, while in a single-player game, only one press is required, 